Hello everyone, I'm Tilly Douglas from Visual Sense Cross. I'm doing a little experiment today. So a lot of people have been telling me they've had um, cracking on their paintings, on, the, on their blooms and um, their acrylic pores. So I'm just doing a little experiment and I thought I would uh, video it to see how we get on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some tiles. I'm going to do the bloom technique. And these are just some um, repurposed tiles. The ones that I did do um, paint on and then didn't like it, so soaked them and scraped it off. So I've given them a coat of gesso and I've put my little duct tape tab on the back so I can hold on to that one and tip in them. So that's that. Now, I've got some very scruffy notes because I've just been um, doing some quick notes. I thought what I'd do is to put um some pva glue in my base pillow pillow base <laughs> and my um, pouring medium so all it is is just some pva glue craft planet i got this i think from the range i'm in the uk um so any pva glue is well presumably fine if it works <laughs> i haven't tested it yet so I just mixed that in my big jug and I mixed um, three parts of emulsion, that's just the Valspar walls and ceiling emulsion, to half a part of glue. Um, so I mixed 30 fluid ounces of emulsion and five fluid ounces of glue because I did a um, big jug of it. Don't do things by halves. <laughs> so three parts of emulsion, and half a part of glue. So we'll get that to put on first. I've given it a really good mix. It does look quite thick, so we'll see how we go with this. I'm doing this video in the daytime, which I don't usually do because I'm hoping I'm not going to get any visitors whilst I'm um, recording the video. <laughs> oh, phone call. Well, I put my um, phone on do not disturb so you don't get the notification. So, but then Neil is going to phone me at some point today. So you can guarantee it's going to be while well, I've got it turned off the notifications. Never mind, he'll have to phone me back. <laughs> So that's my pillow, my pouring medium, which I've got in this little jug is, I, I did it by weight. So I used my scales and put my jug on and I put 60 grams of the base C. I'll put a photo up of that so you can see which one I used and 20 grams of glue just the same glue as I used in the pillow, um, PVA glue, and 35 grams of the polyurethane varnish, and three grams of water, because it was still, it was a little bit thick, so I put three grams of water in it. So I've done that, mixed it all, and then I've mixed it with my paints, and I'm just using basic color paints, um, and I'm using the Arteza Thalo Green, Arteza Burnt Sienna and Arteza Pale Green because it's just a little test so I wasn't too concerned about the colours really so I did um, four grams of paint so I weighed it rather in um, weight rather than volume so I did four grams of the paint and 20 grams of the pouring medium. So 20 grams of that and four grams of paint. Just put that back on there, it's sliding off. So that's that. I get my scales out of the way. And we'll just see what happens really. Get some tissue ready if I get any mess. So I'm just going to put the three colours on. I'm going to put the phthalo green on first 
Um, it has got bubbles because I'm too impatient to wait too long. I have waited a little while, but I'm too impatient, so I'm just going to crack on with it. So phthalo green on first. And I'll, I won't show, I won't put the video out until I've got the dried results because I really want to see the dried results because there's no point in doing this little test and showing it to you if you don't know what the end result is going to be like. Bubbles. And then I'm going to put my pale green on. Quite thick, quite thick this paint, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And then our burnt sienna. Now for my cell activator, I did that by weight as well, because I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible for everybody really. So my cell activator, I did 20 grams of paint, the Amsterdam titanium white, and 20, well I actually did 21 grams of Floetrol because I went over, but I was supposed to do 20 grams, but it was actually 21 grams. This is the Australian flood Floetrol. So 20 grams of paint to 20 grams of Floetrol. I'm just going to give that centre a very quick torch. So turn it up. I've got green paint on this thing, but it doesn't matter. So on goes our cell activator. and blow. So I've got my little tab to hold on to underneath. Put a bit too much sun activator on there, but be all right. There, so I'm just going to put that back on there, let it rise up a little bit. So, I've no idea how this is going to act or react with uh, this technique. The Shelly Art Bloom Technique. And what I'm going to do is get my little turkey baster and blow down into that middle. Because the lacing is not very good at all. That doesn't look like it's working very well to me. It could have been the blow, it could have been the ingredients, or it could just be that I put too much cell activator on the top. But we'll give it a little test, we'll keep going with it, see how it goes. Give it a fair test.
to the left that corner and back again now the lacing is really poor on it it's not it's just breaking up there so back To the center and then off that corner I do want to do another one because I want to know that it's not me not doing it very well rather than the ingredients so I want to give it a good test I don't want to just dismiss it out of hand so that's off that corner back to the center Very dotty. Got some cells. Got some lovely cells actually. So it may maybe good if it's um, the cells you are for rather than lacing. Slow. The th the fourth corner is always really slow. There, yeah, that's off that corner. Back to the centre. It does look actually quite pretty. In its own right, it doesn't have to be lacing. It does look quite pretty. Let's wipe it off from underneath. Yeah, that is really, really pretty, actually. So I'm going to do another one. So what I do underneath is I just scrape the paint off like that, just to give it a new, a nice smooth surface, ready for when you put the cork tile on the back. I really like that. <laughs> not what I was going for, not my, what I was aiming for, but I still really like it. So let's just... Um, Put it to one side and do the next one. I think I might do a different colour combination with this one, a different order or rather. I'm going to go, oh, it, it's a really messy technique this is, so flipping messy. So I've got my tile already on there, might put my pillow on. that get rid of that big old bubble and then what did I do I did that order didn't I green dark green light green brown I think what I will do is go still do the thalo green on the bottom get rid of that so the thalo green on the bottom I've got a, my super duper blower just arrived. I was just waiting for that to arrive from Amazon um, before I started recording the video. So I'm going to be testing that out next as well. So I will record it as I test it out. I didn't want to start recording this because you can guarantee as soon as you do something like this, start doing it and the doorbell will ring. But I'm quite excited to try my little blower out. I haven't even got it out of the box yet. <laughs> and then I'll do the 
pale green on the top of that. I do quite like doing the earthy colours and I've not been working with them so much lately. So I do quite like these. This is probably why I like that first one so much. Because I do really love the earthy colours. Right, perhaps not quite as much of this on this time. There, try that. And then we'll give it a blow. I think it's probably a bit thick. I think both my pouring medium and paint mix and the, well no, I don't think the cell activator is too thick, but I think maybe the pouring medium and paint mix is probably a little bit thick. Not blown out ever so well. Yeah. Let's put it back on its cup and then blow down into that centre a wee bit. Through my whistly turkey baster. <laughs> a lot of what we do with this paint pouring is trial and error. So you go through a lot of testing phases to get the right recipe for whatever technique we happen to be doing at the time. to the edges and see if it's moving yeah it's all moving nicely off that corner and back again we're doing some building work across the road from my house and um they're just taking the digger away, so I'm, I'm hoping they're not going to be doing lots of noisy work out there whilst I'm doing this. Off that one, and back again, back to the centre. I think I preferred the brown on top, you know, because it's quite a nice contrast against the green background. Take off that corner. There is quite a lot of pillow paint on here, so it is uh, it's moving pretty pretty well actually. Because if you've tried this technique, you know how slowly. This can actually move. Um, but one of the reasons people are getting cracks is because they're leaving too much paint on their canvas or on their tiles or whatever it is they're painting on. So we do need to get as much of the paint off as possible. So I haven't put any GAC 800 or anything in this. I've only put in what I've told you, what I wrote down the recipe with the the glue and the um, all the ingredients I've told you about. I haven't put anything else because I've been putting GAC 800 in because that's um, that does help prevent cracking, but it's quite expensive. So if we can come up with a cheaper solution, that would be fabulous. 
See, that one is lacing a bit more, isn't it? Oh, so slow. No patience. Yeah, they are working over the road again with their, um, on the builders. They're building a, I think it's a bungalow they're building, actually. They've not long started. They're just doing the footings and everything for it. Oh, that, that's looking nice. That is looking nice. Off that corner. So sorry if you can hear all the um, the vehicles from the, the digger stuff, the digger site. <laughs> That looks nice. There is some lacing on that one. We'll just bring it back down this way again. I'm nearly so much after dizzy turning that in circles in. I didn't know which way I was going. Yeah, that does look quite nice. And I do love those colours. What do you think to that one? I love the colours actually, I really I should be working more with these colours because I I do like them. I just noticed that one's got a little bit of white on that corner there. I'm just gonna sort that out before it dries. I don't know whether I caught it or get a bit from there, help it to run down a bit and hopefully that will just tip off that corner yeah it's moving a bit still so that's why I just wanted to catch it before it dried too much there that's better that was a uh, Annoying me that was a little bit. So that's two done. So I'll put those to the back. I'll try not to knock them over. My flipping desk is in such a mess <laughs> because I've been doing all this um, testing stuff. Oh, let's get this one over here. Oh, I do like the colours. They look so pretty. Don't tip it over, Tilly Douglas. Right, we'll do the next one. And um, shall we go with that? A pillow on. We'll do the phthalo green. No, I'll do the brown first this time because I haven't done that. I'll do the burnt sienna. And then I'll do the phthalo green. I love phthalo green. One of my all time favourites. Mind you. <laughs> I have got a lot of favourite colours, it seems. <laughs> so, phthalo green on top of the burnt sienna. Yeah, it's probably a little bit thick, this paint. I might need to tweak the recipe a little bit. Then the pale green. You find if if the um, this paint is too thick, then it doesn't blow across the pillow very easily. Then our 
cell activator on the top. There you go. And then blow that one out. It's not looking too bad. I find that because I wear glasses, when I come to blow, I can't actually see where I'm blowing. <laughs> Which is not really very helpful. <laughs> but if I take my glasses off, I can't see where I'm blowing. <laughs> oh dear. My glasses get in the way a bit because... Um, I don't actually look through my glasses. I'm looking sort of down. I know what I mean. <laughs> so, but if I take them off, I struggle to see as well. I can see distance, okay. That's the problem with distance. Back to the centre. Oh, it's a messy, messy technique. So have you had a go at doing this yet? Have you got on? If you have. It does um, take quite a bit of getting the technique down to start with. When you do, it does become, I mean, it does become a lot, lot easier. So only when you try and mess around with the recipe that you get um, it not working out quite right. Once you get the recipe, and there's a lot of different... So many people have different recipes for it now because um, being in different countries and not being able to get the same things as... Um, like Shelley Carruthers is in Australia. Shelley, who brought out this technique or who didn't originally get the technique it's been around for a long long time but um shelly did her own recipe for it so there's a there's a lot of arguments going on about who started it first but i don't really care i just like it i just like doing it i don't care who started it first and who didn't <laughs> i just think it's a lot of fun but if you want to take Shelley's course, she has given me a 15% discount voucher, a code for you, for me to give to you. So that's in the description below. Because it really is good fun. I love doing them. I really do love doing them. Um, and this is not my usual recipe for it. Like I say, I'm testing this one out. So have a look at my other videos. I've got... Um, recipe in my other videos and telling you how I've done different different styles because it really is good fun to do but very very messy and if you haven't done it before but you want to start practicing and having a go I really do suggest you start out on these little tiles because you will have a lot of scrapes scraping the tiles off we all do. So the tiles are very they're cheap to buy and easy to scrape off if you don't like the end result. So that's looking lovely. And that one's got more lacing on that one. I like the order of this one. Well, I actually like the order of all of them the order that I laid my paints down. So I think that is quite beautiful, actually. Let's scrape that paint off from underneath. Make it all nice and tidy. Just need a little bit on that corner down there. Oh, 
on there and keep rounding it. Beautiful. I really like it. So that's three of our four done. Done, done, done. So I'll cut you with through the next one. So if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the like button. I've got stuck to my tissue. <laughs> Click the like button and um, subscribe to my channel because it's really hard to get our little YouTube channels going. And I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe. And then click the little bell notification and you'll get notified when I bring out more videos. So, pillow on. Oh, I think that truck's getting flipping heavier. So what order did I do that? I did the, the um, burnt sienna first, didn't I? I'll do another one the same as that. Even if you don't want to um, do these tiles as coasters or for any reason, they're really good to do test out your colours. If you're thinking about doing a really big canvas and you don't want to get it wrong, you do a little test on these little tiles first. Then you're not wasting all a load of paint and a big canvas. But most of this technique is the blow in it. If you can get the blow part right, that's the main part. I did do a, a video where I showed how I was practicing the blow. Um, so go and have a look at that if you're struggling. I'm always looking for the next gadget that we can do to help with the blowing. So that's the colours. Give it a quick torch. I see some bubbles there. Don't want to torch it too much. Now, is that a bubble? A vegan bubble or is it just a paint? Okay. Cell activator on. And then blow. So then down and out. Yes, and I've got paint on my chin again. I always manage to get paint on my chin. <laughs> oh dear. I do get in a mess, you know. I'm just bringing that paint to the edges to help it flow when we start tipping. Just going to blow down into that center with my turkey baster. So it brings up more of the, the lacing. And then as we stretch it out, those will open up. Right, take that away. And 
See if it's all moving nicely, not stuck in the middle. Looks all good. All good. So I'll go that way first. I have to keep checking that I'm still on camera. Off the corner and back again. So time will tell if this um, glue works and prevents cracking. And also with the lacing part of it as well, whether it will hold together. Although I think it's more cells than lacing, but still very, very pretty. Of that last corner. Although it's slow moving um, when you come to your third and fourth corner, that is a good thing because it means you haven't got too much paint on there. If it all just poured off and then you chipped it back again, it would mean you've got way too much paint left on your tile. And like I say, that does also create, or can create cracking. I just love the colours then. I absolutely love them. So I've got one odd one out now because I've done the, the first one I did was the brown on the top and the others are from the light green but I like that brown one. Somebody at the door. Typical. Just put it in the porch. Thank you. Parcels. Yeah. <laughs> so, parcel delivered. <laughs> I don't even know what that one is. <laughs> but you can guarantee if I'm doing a video, or even if I'm not recording it, if I'm doing a painting and I'm all messed up like this, there will be a delivery. So that one's done. How gorgeous is that? Absolutely beautiful. And I think because I've got the green on the top of three of them and brown on the other one, I'm going to whiz through and do another one. But I'll do that off camera and show you at the end. So there's the four done. I'll take my gloves off and do do you a close up. The box dogs the box <laughs> the box are darking. <laughs> the dogs are barking because of the um, delivery. <clears throat> so I'll get cleaned up, do a close up of them how they are now, and I'll also wait until they dry and then do a close up and let you know how they actually dry. So there they are all finished. I quickly did the other one so it matched the other three with the green, the light, the pale green on top. And I think they look really rather lovely. Um, so there's the one with the brown on top as well. I really like that and I've got, I do want to do another three to match it, but I'm not going to do them until the test is finished because if they do crack, there's no point in doing another three of them. So I think they look really lovely and I love those colours together so I'm not going to cover them because I've got my um, 
that paintings and that on the boxes um, all around here so I put them on the boxes to dry um, and I also use the GAC 800 so that prevents cracking but I'm not I haven't used the GAC 800 as you know and I'm not going to put them under boxes I'm going to give them the good old test so here they are all wet I've just finished them and moved them over onto my drying table and you'll see them next time when they're all dry so for you it will be a couple of seconds <laughs> so I'll show you the dry ones in two ticks so here are our tiles all nicely dried and I've just left them exactly where they were and this room is actually really quite warm so they've dried really quickly and when you let things dry really quickly they usually or can often crack and I also did this paint really quite thick but there's absolutely no sign of cracks on there at all they've all dried so nice and smooth so I'm really quite pleased with those because when you have the paint thick it can tend to crack and these haven't at all they're all so nice and smooth finished really really nicely I would say that they've dried slightly duller but when you resin them or varnish them that will bring those colours right back out again and bring them up nice and sharp colours and they're certainly not dull at the moment but just a little bit more matte so when they're varnished or resined they will look super duper so I would say that glue is a success it kind of binds it all together to help prevent cracking so I'm really quite pleased with those I've got lots of tiles around here drying well these are actually these are all dried so they've been made a little while but I've got tiles everywhere everywhere <laughs> So that's that little experiment. I shall be doing more experiments and I'll keep you informed of how I get on with things. So bye for now.